MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the San Diego Padres and the Atlanta Braves. Here's Juan Ligares, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1 1 home. Oh, he goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. Swanson is under this one, and he puts it away for the first down. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. His career line with Fulton He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. Into the corner and slicing foul. Fultonavich, 28 years old. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. A very nice afternoon, high skies and 77 degrees at game time. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Line drive, fair ball down the line. The left fielder. Standing Tommy. in now, Tommy Pham. Hey. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Heading out towards shallow right. Marcakis on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He also had three hits Fernando in the win last night. Junior. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. That'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1 1. Is taken for strike two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Hater caught too much of the zone. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. 2-2 two -two now to Markakis. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. 3 2 pitch. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. But the throw is not in time. Marquez is aboard after the strikeout. So a runner on first with one out now, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. And this will be fouled away. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? He's right there. Dozier on to Hosmer, but it'll come too late to get them both. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Ligares is under it, and that's the third out.
Here's Manny Machado now. He's been productive at the plate in the series with six hits coming into this one. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Here's Will Myers. He takes his first trip to the plate here, fresh off a four-hit ball game a night ago. Fastball is looked at for strike two. No score here as we play inning number two. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. The second base hit. Brian. So now to the plate, Brian Dozier. Pitch inside the three. Not in time as he steals second. Myers leads off second with one gone in the inning. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Mejia. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. Nine at bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first in time, one away. The next to bat for Atlanta, Travis Darno. The 2 1 home. Line towards center field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the Georgia native Charlie Culberson. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And it's gone. the plate Dansby Swanson sinker misses ball four now to the plate the pitcher Mike Fulton he'll get to take his first cuts here the one one home just the second inning but already 37 pitches to this point taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. He's set. Here's the three and two. And another foul ball. The next three, two. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Mm -hmm. 
Next to the plate for the Padres, Joey Lucchese, 9-1-2 due up. The 1-1. One, one. It is a sharp slider taken low for a ball. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that can't find the zone either. It's ball four, and on just five pitches, he's walked the pitcher leading off the inning. Mm. One. Look on. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Uh, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball's dribbled out in front of the mound. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. So stepping in, Tommy Pham, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. One and one. Here it is. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2 1 pitch lifted in the air out towards left center. Acuna giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And to score from third is the tying run. It's 1 to 1. Now batting. Throw over to the bang, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Stepping in now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Line drive to left. In there, a base hit. The third base, number 13. Into the box now, Manny Machado. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Tried to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. Two and two. Here it is. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And they will get the force at third, and that's that. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. 1-1. One, one. This catches the inside corner for strike two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So one gone for the Braves here in the third. And standing in the powerful right fielder Nick Markakis. And Marcakis lays off here. It's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Marcakis ahead with a three and one count here. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Reined in on to first, and Marcakis has retired two away. At the plate, Freddie Freeman reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Line toward the alley in left center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. 
And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The center fielder, number 13. At the plate now, Ronald Acuna. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And a backhanded try into the hole at short, but this gets on by. And they'll tag him out at the plate. And that will keep our ball game tied as the inning is over. to the plate now Will Myers and they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three well the one two pitch didn't go his way and now a miss there on two and two you know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count got him to miss the breaking ball there Will Myers becomes the first out of the inning and a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Digging in for his second at bat, Francisco Mejia flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And that's low ball four. The pitcher, number 37. One run, four hits, and one error for the Padres so far. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The center fielder, number seven. One. So now to the plate, Juan Lagares. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Popped him up. Freeman is there. And the inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Marcelo Zuna. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The three and one pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Lagares to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Into the box, Travis Darnold. Now the payoff pitch home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Myers is under it. Two gone. Now Stepping back. in for the Braves, the Charlie defense. Culberson. He Charlie. went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Another 1-2 delivery. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's following off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Here's a fly ball well hit. Myers going back, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Into the box, Dansby Swanson. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Eric Hosmer, a hit in two tries so far. Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special. Two and two. 
really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Acuna is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Digging now in to try it again, Michael. Tommy Pham. Tommy he came Pham. through with an RBI Pham. single in his last at bat. Now the 2 1. This is line to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Up next to the Padres, the shortstop, Fernando Cortez. Pickoff move to second, and he just manages to get his hand in. Stepping in now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And now a soft liner to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. A.J. Minter takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Manny Machado will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. High ties him up with a fastball inside. One and two. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Nope. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Hot shot towards the hole, and that's in there. Base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. The right fielder, number four. Will Myers. Into the box now. Will Myers sent on the ground out to second. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. And the second run will score as well. The batter number nine. Second baseman. Brian Dozier. At the plate, Brian Dozier doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Marquecas has a read on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. But they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. Now that two men on, two Francisco. out, and that will bring in the catcher, Francisco Mejia. Nope. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. You're Ender Inciarte will grab a bat and hit for the break. pitcher here. Number 11, Ender Inciarte. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball grounder down the line at third but this will wind up a foul ball two and two on the ground for Dozier at second throws in time and that's out number one Back to the top of the order now. That'll bring up Ozzy Albies. Now the three and two pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Sam will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. 
So two gone now, and here's Markakis. One run, four hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Hit on the ground is short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Luke Jackson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Jurickson Profar will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Lifted the other way out to left center. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The center fielder, number seven, Juan Lagarde. There we go, guys. Come on. To the plate now, Juan Lagares. And this one's in the dirt. Uh, he'll make it back to second, but that had danger written all over it. He's set. Here's the three and two. He loses him on ball four. At the plate, the Eric Hosmer. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Profar is on his way home. The tag, and he's in there. As they push their lead to three now. The back, the left fielder, Tommy Fan. At the plate now, Tommy Pham. And that misses two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And, oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. The 3-1. And this one misses for ball four. And now that'll load him up here with nobody out. The batter. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. He's working on a one for two game so far. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he popped him up. Markake is coming on. One run scores. And now this is thrown wildly. Just getting it into the infield. The run scores from second. It's six to one. Shane Green takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Manny Machado. Standing in now, Manny Machado. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Two and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Will Myers will be next. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Ready for another shot now. Will Myers. He's two for three thus far. Had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero, but this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. 
I had an old coach tell me one time, when the bases are loaded, just concern yourself with getting a guy in from third. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Will Myers goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Marcakis. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's now seven to one. Now back. Digging in now for San Diego. Francisco Mejia. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. He's got it. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Matt Strom enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 55. Matt. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And a good throw gets him one gun. Digging in and looking for more, Ronald Acuna. A fly out and a single for him so far. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The one two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. The left fielder. Stepping into the box. Marcelo Zuna. 0 for two for him to this point. And a full count now, three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Good battle. Count remains full. Now a check swing here. And no swing, says the home plate umpire. Not even an appeal. It's ball four. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 1-1. One, one. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Mark Melanson enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Greg Garcia is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Garcia. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. No hits to this point. Lagares. One and one, here it comes. And it's one and two. Count is one and two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now that the first baseman, Eric Hoffman. Into the box, Eric Hosmer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. With runners in scoring position this season, Hosmer is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Now back, left field, Tommy Pham. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. 
hit hard towards center. That's in there. Base hit. Hosmer. Brown's third and is digging for the plate. He'll score easily as they push their lead to eight now. Up next for the Padres, the shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. So now to the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. To two balls and two strikes now. Fouled away. Hit back toward the mound. A step on the bag for one. Relay to Freddie. Double play, and that'll end the inning. Luis Perdomo will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Number 61. The last half of the seventh here. Now at the play, Charlie Culberson. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And it's up to a three two full count now. Three two. Down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready now, Dansby Swanson. He flew out in his last at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The 2 2 one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. A Danny Echevarria will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Two out, nobody on. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Chris Martin comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. All set for the start of the inning. So striding forward now, Manny Machado. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Up high, two and one now. Martin is a guy that certainly fits the profile as a power fastball pitcher, but I think what makes him really most impressive is the command he displays while keeping the velocity as high as it is. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So here's Will Myers. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And the pitch. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Here's Brian Dozier now. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Pitch on the way. Now look out as this one sends him sprawling. It's ball two now. And he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Set to deal on two and two. High in the air down the right field line. A ball that's carrying. And he makes the catch in the corner.
bottom of the inning now and now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup stepping in Ozzy Albies he's 0 for 3 so far so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup and there's a line drive base hit to left field so it's an inning opening base hit and the Braves have a man on. At the plate, Nick Markakis. And now a swing by Markakis as this is pulled on the ground to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The first baseman, number five, Freddy. To the plate now, Freeman. Freddie Freeman. And it's fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. Ground ball foul down the left side. Now another one two. That's ball two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. On the ground to second base. This could be two to second for one on to first and it's a double play although the run does come into score from third. So base is empty now after the double play and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Ronald Acuna. Oh they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Ugh, was that ugly. You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. All set to start the ninth in this one. Settling in now, Francisco Mejia. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And he fouls this one off. Ready with the one and two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Acuna's there for it. One away. Josh Naylor will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Number 22. One out, nobody on. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And a swing and a miss here and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. The center field now back to the top of the lineup Juan. stepping in Juan Ligaris. He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. One ball, two, well three, out two. in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Just hung in there on that one. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung on and grounded out to Swanson at short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Emilio Pagan. A right handed now, reliever standing 6 3 gets the Number ball now 40. out of the bullpen. Emilio. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. Here's Marcelo Zuna. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. To short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Stepping now in, that's Travis Darno. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Charlie. Final strike for the Braves. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And no, he can't make the play.
outside and a full count three and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. A 9-2 finish at the end of this contest. The San Diego Padres used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Joey Lucchese gets the win on the mound his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres: nine runs, 14 hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. For Atlanta, two runs, six hits, one error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 28 minutes. Our paid attendance at Truist Park this afternoon. 41,500. The Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely.